Hello everyone, welcome back to my Trappist 1 Hard Career playthrough in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. We are going to send another probe over to the moon, or try to anyway, but we do face many obstacles. First of all, uh, the part limit, and then the cost of the rockets, and the fact that I don't have patch conics, right? Uh, it would cost 300,000 to get patch conics, uh, much less we would need 150,000 for the flight planning for actual maneuver nodes. So, yes, there's a lot that I'm uh, fighting against here, but at the end of the previous episode, I introduced a new rocket. Well, not a new rocket, it's just uh, development on the Delta rocket, but a rocket with a probe on top uh, that will allow us to at least get a reasonable amount of Delta V, 9,140. That's reasonable around here in the TRAPPIST-1 system, and hopefully we can finagle some sort of encounter with the moon. But I don't know what, how to transfer to the moon in this system right now. So we will see. Let me, we will see what the right timing is. I have some guesses, of course. Well, we'll have to launch at night again because our electric charge is ticking down. So once again, no SAS, and that's gonna be particularly brutal this time because we only have one gimbling engine, the Reliance don't gimbal. So I'll have to be careful about it. And go. Well, go. No ant engine, just a terrier. And me trying to keep control over this without SAS. Well, we'll probably have to go steeper. I'm gonna have to deviate from prograde just to get this into a nicer orbit. Uh-oh, we have a roll. Don't really want a roll. Okay, booster set. But there's also no way I can stop a roll. I don't know how it started. Now, we're basically dumb firing this into Moon SOI, or trying to. And we'll wait until it gets there. Uh, the electric charge situation might be rough, though. I still don't think I've got comms on because hard, the hard uh, preset didn't actually have signal for control as a requirement. But probably once I get solar panels, I'll turn that on. So the expectation is that we'll have 2,000 for transfer. Whether that'll be enough, I don't know. I mean, the moon is not that high up. Okay, terrier time. We'll probably have more than 2,000 for a transfer. Because we need about 2,500 for orbit here. I tried to do some calculations for the phase angle, but uh, I wasn't sort of liking the results I was getting, so we'll just wing it. But yeah, I did try to calculate it. There was just something that wasn't making sense to me about the numbers. But we are in a very peculiar situation, so it might be that that's just how it is. Okay, and well, that's good enough. That's an orbit. Okay, it's about 6,800 around here. 2,700 left. Well, seems like it ought to be enough, right? Now, let's make sure this is on hibernate auto. I'm just taking a look at our... Our velocity is six, basically double its velocity. Okay, here we're picking up. All right, we're gonna try and burn like that, like so that's 90 degrees ahead. Okay, let's see. I also would like a time for the transfer. I'm just gonna touch the moon's orbit there, like that, maybe a little bit more. So it's 8 hours and 27 minutes now, gonna make sure this is back on hibernation fully, like, well, like that anyway. Okay, let's go out. It's actually a really quick transfer. It's been one hour. Oh, we're just sort of missing it. Thing. 
Okay, we're just sort of missing it. It's two hours up to here. Okay, well, we're a little bit behind it. We've got sort of a two hour, well, it's a four hour altogether orbit. A little bit more than four hours. Well, we can hardly bring that end down anymore. Let me just see what happens if we just wait one orbit. Or two orbits. Okay, one orbit. It's a little bit further ahead, so that's not going to help us. It's going to be a while like this, but maybe that's okay with the electric charge diminishing as it is with us in hibernation. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Oh, we, we exploded before we could get the science, though. But I explored the moon. <laughs> Gosh darn it, that was quick. Uh, okay. All right, we, we smacked into the moon, folks. But we sort of did it. I really wish I had gotten the science. Uh, I was not expecting to encounter the moon on that pass, actually. No. Okay, all right. Uh, that's how it worked out. <laughs> we smacked into the moon unintentionally. Back to Space Center. Whatever happened to the world's firsts anyway? Those could have given us more money. So, we can unlock the astronaut complex, I think. And then we can perform EVAs. But that's... That's got us a little bit tight, but yeah, I think that's definitely what we want to do. But I really want to get the moon science too. I mean, we're tight on science now. Well, we're tight on everything. But explore Kerbin. Orbital spacewalk near Kerbin. Rendezvous two vessels in orbit of Kerbin. Well, sounds like a plan. We still don't have rescuees. I'm going to launch another moon probe so that we can eventually do the rendezvous. But then we're going to rendezvous a Kerbal with it to fulfill the rendezvous part of that contract, and then have the Kerbal do EVAs. So we're going to launch another one of these. Last time I was a little bit behind the moon. So we need to sort of start our burn a little bit further. But in any case, we are going to just uh, get into orbit first and then wait for the rendezvous partner. So no SAS. That throttle's not working. Throttle up, and let's go. All right, we are past the speed of sound. Taking the chance to turn a little bit more here. We do need our apoapsis. Ooh, yes, let's do more of that. Oh, heating though. Oh, right, that doesn't throttle down. I should have throttled down earlier. Okay, booster set. We do need to toss this pretty high up, though, because the Kerbal's not going to want to rendezvous with something too low. We want to be at maybe 200 kilometers. Okay, staging. You know, maybe the state put Nick's not so bad after all. Especially since I've got a control stick to maneuver this instead of WASND. Rendezvous is going to be fun though. We don't have any maneuvers to plan with or anything like that. Well, the problems with the Moon and Minmus in this situation is that they have very small spheres of influence. So we have to keep that in mind. Oop, a little bit high, but all right, 2,600. This is on hibernate and warp. And yeah, we'll just leave it adrift right now while well, we have no choice. And we're going to have a Kerbal try to rendezvous with it, which is just getting into rend range as far as I know. So back to Space Center. Okay, we'll save it uh, like that. And there's not gonna be any mock pellant or goo containers. They'll optimize our Delta V and well, we still have just Jeb because we haven't rescued anybody and we need a pilot. So let's go. Um, 
It's very wobbly. It's it's very wobbly. Oh, oh, okay. Um This is not fair. <laughs> uh um Okay, um, assigned. Okay, okay, Jeb is still alive there. Um, this is just Kerbal being Kerbal. I uh, quit the game before Jeb perished, and I'm going to recover. <laughs> and we gotta try and bring him out again. But, okay, maybe advanced tweakables, and then we'll auto-strip things. Maybe that'll help. So, advanced tweakables, where are you? It is enabled, okay. But maybe because we haven't discovered struts yet, we can't auto strut. That's probably the case. We could do rigid attachment, but gosh darn it, that was just a fluke. Let's go. Really, SAS on? I don't know what's going on. Let's go. <laughs> Why is it trying to kill Jeb? Now, we initially want to go into a lower catch-up orbit. Well, past the speed of sound, trying to turn very carefully. Okay, booster set. Throttle up. Okay, staging. Probably I should have left some more, some more time to apoapsis, though. I don't have to pitch up extra here. It's not a super low thrust weight ratio, but still. Okay, well, I'm gonna right away lift the opposite end to encounter the target's orbit. Okay, so. Now we are going to try to catch up to it. Just a little out of time will do. But on this side, I'm going to lift up my orbit a bit. So that we just progressively get a little bit closer and a little bit closer. Kill their relative velocity. Well, but I'd have to have it as a target to be able to kill relative velocity, so maybe I can't even do this. Unless I can target it out here. Ooh, we got bad patchies there. Oh, I can, oh, I can target it. Okay, good. 53 is a little bit far away to start doing this. Okay. Let me just see when it's a minimum. I'm guessing this is in visual range, even though I can sort of see it. Okay, so... You don't have a whole lot of juice here. Now, orbits don't change as much around here as they do around Kerbin. There's still probably... Yeah, it's too far away to do this technique. Gotta make sure I keep enough fuel for return, though. Electric charge is effectively a limited amount of maneuvering fuel here. Well, the periapsis would definitely have not been good there. Okay, getting closer. We're just radially sort of across from it. Okay, well, that, that's... Let me try and close here. 22 kilometers. Can we sort of force the issue now? Okay, I'm just letting it drift here. Trying to get closer quickly. But we're gonna waste some gas like this. This is the sloppy way of doing it, but we don't have any maneuver nodes, so... Okay, five kilometers. Well, surely that'll get us close. It actually accepts that rendezvous two vessels in orbit. Apparently we didn't have to kill as much velocity as I thought. I thought we had to kill velocity, but it's fine with this. So I'm going to keep myself away from it. It's got other jobs to do anyway. Okay, well, let's stabilize. And Jeb EVA for the first time. Okay, that, that's counted. EVA report. Keep board only 4.8 points but okay so we have fulfilled explore Kerbin 
Now we just want some bonus stuff. Uh, maybe if we're in render range of that, it's going to take battery from it. So I'm going to bring my orbit down a bit. Or maybe up is safer. Fine, I'm going to bring my orbit up a bit. A little bit past 250. Got 462. That should be good enough. Okay. Gotta watch out for the power. I don't think we're over a different biome. Grasslands, board. Okay, dump. So it was grasslands before. Let's see. Can I tease out some indication of the biomes down there? If the clouds in the way, it's sort of hazy. I think over here is desert, right? Still grasslands. All right, we've gotten water and shores. I'm trying to get mountains here, but well, we got highlands. But it kept doing grasslands when those are clearly mountains. I feel. Let me keep going and see if we can get mountains. Or if it's just gonna be highlands the whole time. Hard to distinguish between highlands and mountains here. Oh, we're high over Kerbin. Well, that's good too. I can't transmit the stuff because I'll take electric charge. Base center is over there. We're not in a super circular orbit, but I think we'll just uh, do a deorbit burn here. Yeah, better not play any tricks on me. Okay, 31.5. Okay, time to knock off the stage. And off it goes. And then retrograde, Jeb, retrograde. Uh, just one more EBA? <laughs> Mountains, we got it. Okay. <laughs> retrograde. Okay. I was looking at those and going, well, it's either mountains or desert, but could have been highlands. Okay, here we go. Ablation happening. Okay, down to half ablator. Still very much most of our orbital velocity, but... We're getting there. I'm not fizz warping this time. Okay, the ablator is stabilizing. We have 20 units left. And the uh, heating is coming down, 4.3 Gs. Okay, parachute deployment time. About 5 meters per second. And we're over the desert now. Uh, we hadn't done a crew report. We can do that. We could have done EVA in flight, but we're not going to be that, that desperate. Okay, meter textures, I bet we can go on EVA and EV report, keep board, and recover vessel. All right, very successful rendezvous there, and EVAs. Brings us to 73.7, .7, so really all we need to do is get that probe over to the moon. We have smacked the moon, but we would like to get there a little bit more softly. Maybe even make orbit. Well, or orbit costs a lot, so probably not make orbit. But uh, that is still hanging out in orbit. Let's just go to it. Briefly, make sure it still has electric charge. But... I'll start with this next time. So that's uh, 2,634 meters per second. It's got its electric charge there. And it's ready to go to the moon. We'll just start with it next time and see if it works out. So with that, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.